not sure I can even tell you how the whole thing happened. Except that I said I loved you. And she said I love you. And I said, are you sure? She said, of course I'm sure. So I said, well, then let's get married right here in this old city in New Orleans. <laughs> he said, Bobby Ewing, that's about the dumbest idea I've ever heard. And 20 minutes later, <clears throat> there we were standing in front of that old Baptist preacher saying, I will, I will. And that was that. I never knew you were so impulsive, Bobby. Well, I never knew I was either. Pamela, you settled in your room all right? Oh, yes, ma'am. Of course, I only have the one suitcase, but I'll go into Dallas tomorrow and get my things. Young lady, when's that brother of yours going to give up that crusade against us Ewings? Daddy, I don't think this is a proper time to discuss it. I don't know why not. We don't talk business at this hour, Charles. Anybody want a refill? Yeah, please. I will, Father. Can I help you? Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Ewing. Come in, Ray. Have a drink. No, thanks, sir. Hey, here you are. I believe you know Pamela here. Sure. Pam. Hi, Ray. Ray Krebs, have you heard that our Bobby has up and married Pamela Barnes? Yeah, I heard. Congratulations to you both. Where are your manners, Ray? You're going to kiss the bride, aren't you? Sure. Where are my manners? Congratulations. You don't want to drink or anything, do you, Ray? No the time, Bobby. I do want to wish you luck, though. Well, thank you very much. You sound right here, sir. <clears throat> Well, there's some light left. I'd like to show Pamela our little house. There's plenty of time for that, JR. Let's just get to know each other first. Yeah, I always get to know people best one to one. You know, you will excuse us. Excuse me, please. It's getting a bit chilly out. I think we ought to get some warm clothes on. I think this is all so exciting. Don't you, Sue Ellen? Weddings always are, aren't they? Fine country, ain't it? It's beautiful. I, uh, I gotta apologize for my father. He's from another generation. He's just used to speaking his own mind. Now, he, he really doesn't expect you to reveal anything about your brother's political activities. Well, I don't know anything to reveal. Well, of course you don't. This is Mother's garden. It doesn't look like much now, but I tell you, in the spring, it just bursts with beauty. I can't wait to see it. Yeah. Yeah, Sue Ellen and I, it's our little house over here. It's not very big, but uh, it's comfortable. Has a little kitchen and a sitting room, and even has an extra bedroom that we're thinking of making into a nursery. Oh, is Sue Ellen? No, 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 not yet. But it's just a matter of time. We do want an heir to head the family and the business for the next generation. Me and Bobby won't kiss, too. Of course you do. Who lives there? No one now. That, uh, that's my middle brother, Gary's house. He's he used to live there with the little bride, briefly. Did your brother put you up to this, Miss Barnes? Well, I, I don't think that's an unusual question to ask, Miss Barnes. Mrs. Ewing, excuse me, please. Well, perhaps it'd be more appropriate to ask what sort of settlement you'd require to annul this farce. Let go of my arm. I'm willing to spend some money now to avoid any inconvenience. But if you insist on being driven away, which you surely will be, you're going to come out of this without anything, honey. Hi there. What's going on? Oh, just talking a little business. <laughs> 